Films with Robert Osborne. It's a must for classic movie lovers and fans of TCM. At shop.tcm.com or call 888-9-TCM-SHOP. Hi there, everybody. Thanks for joining us today on TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. We're spending the afternoon with several actors famous for playing tough guys. Up next, it's Steve McQueen, the ultimate slow burn behind the wheel of a fast car. But in this film, his need for speed must take serious heed. It doesn't really make any sense, but it does rhyme. The movie is set in the early 1900s when cars went like 18 miles an hour. It's a coming-of-age story based on a novel by William Faulkner from 1969, The Reavers. It's set in rural Mississippi in the early 1900s when the McCaslin family buys a big new fancy car. McQueen, who's the family's hired hand and designated driver, decides to borrow the car and take a road trip to Memphis, and he brings a couple of young members of the McCaslin household along for the ride. It doesn't sound like a typical Steve McQueen movie. There are no high-speed chases, obviously. There are no deadly stunts. McQueen was really trying to stretch himself and show he was more than an action star, and he considered it a big risk. He confided to a friend, if I play a hayseed, he said, after this I'll probably never work again. But you know, McQueen often thought his next movie would be his last. Underneath that cool movie persona, he was a mass of insecurities. Obviously, McQueen worked again, but he never worked again with the Reavers director, Mark Rydell. McQueen apparently was not a fan of Rydell's work. He argued with him throughout the production. Rydell's past relationship with McQueen's wife, Neil, didn't exactly diffuse the tension. Eventually, McQueen demanded Rydell be fired, not an unprecedented move on a McQueen movie set. The producers refused, which meant they had to cajole McQueen to continue shooting, another exercise not uncommon to a McQueen picture. Fortunately, they were successful, and we have the completed film for you now, from 1969, also starring Rupert Cross and Will Gear, The Reavers. Thank you. 